Once a year, the state capitol fully embraces the name, the People's House, when hundreds of senior citizens fill the old Supreme Court chamber to listen to and discuss with the state's elected officials. How many of you, this is your first time here for Senior Day at the Capitol? All right on the status of senior citizen care. It's one of those feel good days. When you leave here today, you'll have a little bit of information. You'll be feeling better about your country and maybe even about your state. Well, I'm excited by all the enthusiasm and the number of people that are here that represent seniors. It is the single largest growing portion of our population. It's exciting to be in the old Supreme Court chambers with oxygen tanks and walkers and people who are here to actually hear what the legislators have to say, find out what they're doing for them. We gotta make sure we have the appropriate infrastructure so that you know people can enjoy a high quality of life as they you know in their in their golden years. This year there were a couple of differences from years past. We've actually hired somebody here who is in charge of aging. That's his full-time job is to think about the intersection of transportation, housing, health care with the aging population. I think some of the attendees are getting younger and so in the past we've had some who were definitely in their 80s and 90s um, but not so much this year. I'm noticing that they're a younger group and I think that's exciting because we need to get them more energized at a younger age about what's going to be an impact on them in their later age. After a morning of listening, the afternoon became a time for discussion. As with any issue, there is always more to be done. Uh, the second thing is, I think housing is probably top of mind. You know, we've made a lot of advancements in health care. I don't think we've made the same advancements in housing, and that's going to be a huge priority for me. Well, there are hundreds of concerns, right? They're everywhere, right? Is how long do people work before they retire? How do we afford extended retirements? We may not agree. We'll never agree to agree. But let's agree to disagree and move on. Go to coloradoseniorlobby.org to find out how to get involved and take a part in your health care.